Well, we've got our man of the match. It's uh, awarded by the sponsors and it's Mitch Dickinson and Ben Austin, first team coach to present. Hello, Mitch. Thank you very much. Mate. Well, well played, mate. Thank you. That was a hard afternoon. Yeah, it was. Um, we absolutely got in there, to be fair. We should have felt like we should have got three points, at least at least a point, to be fair. And uh, I think Franco's had one save to make and we've dominated the whole game, to be fair. I think it's just a couple of seconds of switching off down the other end in the first half and they punished us and I think that was the only main chance they probably had so yeah we're absolutely gutted with we're doing all right um we're obviously we're sitting in the playoffs and um but we're absolutely gutted because we want to keep that momentum keep going it game to game yeah because I was going to say uh, if we look back I think is it 10 games that we've played now in in uh, the league and that's a point at which clubs tend to assess and looking back over the 10 games the yeah. club should be quite happy and the team yeah I think so yeah we've um, obviously since the first game of the season against Dork and we we like a lot like to press teams and uh, I feel like we're doing really well at the moment we've just got to keep that momentum going but this won't bother us we've got another massive game next Saturday uh, which we're all looking forward to we're training hard this week and um, look forward to the game great words thanks Mitch and well played today well, Ben Austin, first team coach, that result was hard to take, Ben. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, we've, we've all in that dressing room been around football long enough to know that um, you don't always get what you deserve from a game. And I think probably we wasn't at our absolute best today. But that said, I felt that, um, you know, we dominated the, the larger periods of the game and uh, we created the better chance in the game. And um, I think Franco probably had. I'm not even sure if he had a save to make actually I think the goal was the only chance that they had so you know credit to them they've come away from home um, they've, they've dug deep and they've uh, you know they've made it difficult for us but yeah we're, we're disappointed we feel like we should have got something from the game They're not the sort of team that you want to go a goal down to are they? No and I mean I think the games that we've watched of them so far this season we knew what to expect um, you know they're not a particularly flair side they just kind of grind results out and they do give teams chances so um, you know, we knew that uh, as long as we stayed in the game, there would always be an opportunity to take something. But you're right; as soon as you go a goal down against teams like that, they they kind of just um, you know get their banks of four in and, and make it difficult for you. And that's what they did today. Positives for for your side? Lots of positives, I think. Um, I mean, from the game itself, I thought the boys showed great character again. Um, you know, to go behind in the game, and I think. I think it's probably fair to say that over the last few seasons, you know, Eastbourne Borough teams potentially go a goal down and it quickly becomes two, um, you know, possibly three, and then the game's gone. Um, you know, we seem to have er eradicated that largely uh, from within the squad and within the mentality. So, you know, I never felt like we were in danger of going further behind. Um, that's a real positive. I think we've limited them, you know, like I say, to perhaps one chance. Um, you know, and on another day, we've already got the points and, and we'll probably play worse than that and win games. So, um, yeah, plenty of positives. Um, Joe Kay making his first start today. Um, you know, difficult to come in and play 90 minutes at the level, um, but he's done well. Uh, Chris Welpdale getting some time off the bench as well is good. So, uh, yeah, you know, we, we're not at, I suppose, what you would call full strength today in terms of, you know, we didn't have Chris Welpdale in. We know he's a miss for us. Um, and Kai was missing today, but I don't think it showed too much. So, I think, yeah, squad, squad looks strong. Um, you know, we're in every game that we play, so lots of positives at this stage. And as you say, a, a big game coming next Saturday here at Priory Lane with Dartford arriving. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, again, we've watched tape of Dartford. They're a good side. Um, but like most sides in this league, they're organised. They're hard to beat. They've got threats. Um, but as I say, we, we feel like uh, we've worked really hard this year on um, what we do out of possession. We speak a lot about how what you do out of possession um, you know, is going to win you games basically because it allows you to stay in the game when things aren't going your way. And no doubt there'll be periods next week where, you know, Dartford have a spell and we're going to have to grind it out. But yeah, it's a tough game. They're all tough games. Um, but hopefully we'll have some fans back in the crowd who can get behind us and we can get back to winning ways. Just finally about yourself, Ben, because uh, you've kept an eye on, on the club and the team over the seasons, usually from the back of the stand, roughly yeah. where we are now. Now you're closer to the action. How are you finding that? Yeah, no, I'm enjoying it. It's, um, you know, Danny, uh, I sp uh, last season, you know, Danny had, had asked me if I was interested, you know, in getting involved or helping out. And the interest was always there. It was just more of a time thing, to be honest, you know, be, having the time to do it. Um, and actually lockdown worked in my favour in that way this year because it gave me a bit of time to come and get involved. And to be honest, it was originally just going to be helping out, just maybe helping with a bit of the defensive work. But it's kind of snowballed from there. Things seem to have gone all right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, you finish playing and people ask if you miss it. You normally say no, but deep down you really do. Um, yeah, and it's great being back in the dressing room. Great bunch of lads. So, yeah, enjoying it so far. 
Thanks very much, Ben, and onward we go. No worries. Thank you.